Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tapping and clicking and watching. Um, we are um, checking out an RV today, and then we're going to be cleaning out the barn and the shed, just decluttering. Since we're unable to move in due to mold levels, we're just going to focus on outside and do what we need to do there. So we're just going to day decluttering and if you want to see what's in the barn keep on watching So we just got to the house from looking at that RV. Today we're doing um, some cleanup. We're clearing out the barn. Ty already took all of these to this little corner right here. So we still have to go through all of that. Okay. So that's the plan for today. We had a really bad flood the other day. So the water, there's some water marks in here. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, it didn't come all the way through the barn. Um, we need to fix the barn though. There's some holes at the bottom. But um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. We're cleaning this place out. Probably gonna be here for a little while. y'all it is evening we are pretty much almost out of sunlight sun's going down but um this is the shed wow there's a little little shoe here i didn't see when i pulled that out but um yeah so we declutter this shed today i hope ty's done i'm not sure if he is or not but look at this guys little baby shoes there's so much history here and he just the seller this is done he left everything behind sadly for us we are now responsible for decluttering our new home but um there's a lot of stuff here that we found that are very interesting um there's a little toad jumping around but um, yeah, so this is the shed. We got that decluttered and prepped up so that the haulers can come and take that away. I'm going to take you guys to the barn so y'all can see all the work Tyrell and Aiden did together. I helped a little, but it was mostly them. Look at that. I don't even feel like the phone is doing it justice. There's so much stuff out here so much stuff like a big pile and there's still stuff inside believe it or not we did a lot but we're not like completely done and he left the barn open we're about to drive home well to our rental property but um i gotta remind him to go turn off the light 
and close the barn up. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for taking the time to watch our crazy adventure with this house. I hope we make it. I hope we are able to beautify it and declutter it. And that we won't have to just put it back on the market. But that we can actually live here for a while. Um, it's a lot. But I just... I hope that we're able to get this done. Um, as of right now, we have 12 more days left in our rental property. And we have no idea... Where we're going to live, whether we're going to buy ourselves an RV, rent an RV, or stay in it um, in a hotel. Um, like an extended stay kind of situation until the air quality and all the mold and stuff is gone. But yeah, so that's what's currently going on. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know. Are there any other updates? I don't think so. Yeah, so we can use all the prayers. I know this is being posted like a little later than the current recording. But do pray for us when you think of us. I'm sure whatever we're facing right now, <laughs> um, we could always use prayer, right? So... Although this is coming to y'all a little late, because that's how it is when you record. Because I have to edit and then put it up. And I'm a little behind on uploading, so this is going to get to you guys a little late. But I still wanted to cover the journey of us making this house our home. Um, but look, some of we brought some of our plants from our rental property that we had planted. And Tyrell's lilies here are blooming. I'm guessing those are lilies. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. Anyway, so we've been bringing our plants over. Um, we brought all the kids' books and curriculums and things like that over. We're trying to use the barn as a storage place, but yesterday or this week it flooded so um not i mean it didn't come all the way in the middle of where all this stuff are but now we want to put a tarp down and make sure that their books don't get ruined as a result of being stored here look at that that's so pretty beautiful bird anyway so yeah Eventually, I'll just take you guys around right here because I'm still recording. This was supposed to be short, but this is a peach tree. There's something wrong because there's apparently something you're supposed to do to your peach tree so these bugs don't come and mess them up. And we didn't buy the property yet, so all these peaches are going to go to the birds <laughs> pretty much. Um because doesn't they don't look so great but it's good to know we have a peach tree right here um but i wanted to tell you guys about this right here um this fence you see right here well first of all this tree we are going to take this down and then we're we want to take this fence off and kind of make an entry to the garden from the front. I think it's going to look really pretty to have that on the side of the house. So that's our goal. Maybe like an arbor or something. And just make it really neat. Less cluttered. And just a beautiful entry to the backyard. Um, so that we can access the backyard without going on the little road on the side there. Um, and then the children really want a playground. I'm not sure if I should put it like right where I'm standing like by this beautiful tree because it's level right here or if I should put it all the way down like near the weeping willows. I haven't decided yet but I think a bench 
would be really pretty right here. We could just put a nice little sitting bench. We are going to cut down all these big massive trees that you see right there and put something else that's less of a cluttery and bulky looking. Um, so we are going to take five of these. There's five of them down. Is it five? I think so. And we're going to plant other things there. But yeah, so those are our current goals with the yard. And it's a lot of stuff, but that's what's going on. We still have our little lawn, or what do you call those, camping chairs? I don't know. But I hung up some. Our realtor gave us some gifts for the birds here. So I hung them up. I think they're so cute. Um, this cute little owl with like apricot eyes. And then the one that's hanging. But yeah. And some of our plants are over here. And that's all. Yep. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have any advice or questions. Because this is all new. Um, and once we move in, like we'll have well a well for the first time. I've never... Um, I don't even know. Like... Is there a filter? Should I put a filter? Like, I don't even know anything about, like, well water and having a well. So, that's going to be another learning curve of learning about that. And then we do have septic. Um, so, wanting to make sure, like, there are no trees planted anywhere where the roots are going to mess up with our septic. And if there are, dealing with that before anything bad happens... Um, what else? So, and then I'm going to have to DIY the whole kitchen because there's no way we're going to be able to afford a new kitchen right now. I don't think so. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be contact paper and fun paint and weirdness to try to make it look more appealing because it's a very old kitchen and it needs a little lift. So, yeah. So even once we move in, we still have lots of projects to do, but um, I just can't wait to finally like rest. I mean, this has been going on for two months since May. I just want to move in, and I think the kids are ready to move in as well. They're just so done and tired, um, so I can't wait to like... Put fire in our fire pit and just relax in the backyard and talk and have Bible study. I just, uh, the longing. I mean, it, besides all the work and all the heartache, it is a beautiful property. It is like a little haven in the middle of a chaotic world, you know. It's just quiet. The birds, the frogs, the crickets. I mean, I just love the feel like when I walk into the backyard I just love how everything just seems so peaceful um we need to have a company come and get all this wood um I don't know why they were being stored this way but this is a terrible way to store wood in my opinion um because I would be scared to grab wood from here because I feel like black widows and all kinds of bugs are probably underneath and in, in that darkness uh, so, yeah, I don't even want Tyrell to touch it. But, anyway, do you see this? <laughs> this is, like, so peaceful, besides the trash. <laughs> I just think it's so peaceful to be able to just come out here and sit and just, just be, you know? We have these trees to cut down and put away. So much to do, but I know it's going to be worth it once we get it done. I want to work on these raised beds that are overtaken by weeds and put more raised beds alongside. I mean, there's so much potential here. I just can't wait. So this is the area where that fence is. So instead of a fence, you're going to be walking straight to the backyard from here. Um... We'll see. 
we will see. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this video be over. I talked forever, so I'm gonna go back in the car. Ty's putting a dehumidifier in the house. Um, per um, we had someone come out and they gave us some tips and they examined the house. They did some air. We had an environmentalist come out and he suggested that we put a dehumidifier in there. And so we were doing that. So, yeah. And then Ty did spray the poison ivy finally. I don't know if I said that earlier, but that's exciting. So I've been afraid to let the little one just run free because I don't want him to get hurt. Pray for us, guys. Um, we'll keep you updated. And this is what's going on. Bye.